Hey, how's it going, Eric? This is going to be a quick demo video for you for your very nice War Saber Star Killer. Uh, this was installed with the kit that you provided me. Uh, the only thing I did was replace the SD card, but I speak a little bit about that at the end. So let's go over my desk and take an in-depth look at this, and we'll get this out in the mail to you first thing Monday morning. Thanks, man. All right, Eric, we got your War Saber Star Killer here. This is a very nice version of the Star Killer. Um, I've always enjoyed it, but it has the provided crystal chamber with the LED strip in the back. You were missing a few things from your kit. Um, one, and I, I, I think that this version came with it, but it was not in your kit, was the bottom LED for the crystal. Um, not sure if that was included in this or not because all of the LED strips, it, are the same size minus one on the very bottom which is a little bit bigger that might that might be for the crystal uh, just other renditions that I've done had one that went on the bottom but it was no big deal we just used the LED strip all right another thing you were missing was the actual uh, there's a smaller board that goes in between like the control box and the chassis if you're going to use the setup here to uh, to charge the saber, but you and I talked about not using that, so no big deal there. But your power is located right here. Auxiliary is over here. Uh, this is your blade retention that we'll use here in a second. All right, and then to get to your chassis, you just want to unscrew the handle. So I just wired this up for you. You provided all the parts and the chassis. I believe this is from Jimmy Saber Junk. So it has a removable battery system right here, but the spring side is going to be the negative side of your battery. You'll need a Keep Power 18650. All right, you've got a kill switch right here. Flipping it over, you've got your profi board here, access to your SD card or micro USB, although this board does slide forward. If you wanted to pop it out, there's like two little lips right here, and then it just slides back in place. And then you've got your OLED screen here. So there is a copy of the config file that I used on the SD card. You just come over here and flip the kill switch. Uh, for now, I just put my boot up on the OLED screen. Of course, you can change that to whatever you like. You can see you've got kind of a kit scanner going on with the crystal chamber until you turn it on. And then it ramps up. All right, and you've got this, uh, the provided stock V3 MPXL. And then that OLED animation when the saber's on with twist off. All right, so we can go ahead and put this handle back on. You do have a provided O-ring here that kind of helps tighten the handle. I like to use that instead of the, um, let's line this up real quick. You just line this grip up with your crystal chamber. You can put a grub screw in here and then tighten the handle down. I don't find that that's necessary with the O-ring that's on there. And it becomes a pain if you want to get to your chassis, but of course you're free to use that if you like. All right, so we're gonna loosen this up right here. You don't have to take it all the way out, just get it out of the blade socket. This saber is designed for a one inch diameter blade. So we'll put the blade in, lock it down and hit power. And it lights up the blade very well. Auxiliary up here, if you hit it like this, To play your soundtrack, do a long press on the power. And then do another long press to turn it off. Just like that. All right. Uh, it just has the one sound font on it for now. Um, the provided SD card that you gave me with this profit board gave me a lot of trouble. I had to troubleshoot it for a long time before I realized it was the SD card. Um, those particular ones aren't very good. They're a little cheap. All right, so I went ahead, I replaced the SD card with a sand disc, so you won't have any problems in the future. Um, down the road, if you ever do another install or if you get another kit like that, um, take that SD card and replace it with a sand disc. All right, so that way you won't have any issue. But we'll go ahead and take the blade out, tighten this back up. We'll take our handle off here. Turn the saber on and flip it off with the kill switch right there. And then when you want to charge your battery, you can come over here from the positive side by your speaker. Just pop your battery out and put it in any external 18650 charger. That's how you do that. All right. But that is how you work your 
War Sabers Star Killer. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. It's pretty late in the afternoon on Friday right now, so this thing will go out in the mail to you first thing Monday morning. Thanks, man.